Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to have a look on C Android ROM for Mi Note 8. And I have reviewed a few versions of C Android ROM in my past videos. And C Android ROM is not doing great back then. Even this ROM also not doing great. So let's go and check out this one. First of all, going with the fingerprint and other things, those are working perfectly fine. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, those are really great in any kind of ROM. Those things works perfectly fine on any kinds of ROM nowadays. So going with the setting, we go to about phone. So this is based on Android 13. I haven't installed any kind of Android 14 based ROM on my Redmi Note 8 yet, but I'll be update, uh, updating my device to Android 14 soon. So as you can see, Android 13, say Android 9.1.0, uh, 6 October 2023. And there is a uh, update for this ROM actually available. So if you go to system and should be here, update. So we have a 9.11 update here but i'm not going to update i'm going to change uh, like switch the rom because i know that this, this the issues are there those will not, will not be fixed and going with other things it's pretty much similar to other kinds of android 13 based rom all things are there and also we have xiaomi parts option if you want to calibrate your display you can go here and tweak as as i did also the skin calibration does work if you calibrate your display you will not see any kind of retention issue with your Mi Note 8 and going with other things in the Wi-Fi section the Wi-Fi mobile data is working just fine if you go to hotspot we can share our 5 gigahertz band as you can see so no issue with that and other things like app notification battery backup is great pretty well in this ROM and it's working perfectly fine but one thing I have I am facing one issue with this ROM is that sometimes fast charging doesn't work firstly I thought it's problem with my USB port actually it's not with my like type C port it, it is with a ROM if you reboot the device some the, the fast charging does turn on and it work perfectly fine after that so going with the display setting we have few things going on here dark theme and other things are there we can do rotation setting so if you want all the four like 360 degree you can do that double tap to work or double tap to sleep is working just perfectly fine no issue wallpaper and style all these things actually pretty much similar to under 13 base all the base rom one thing unique on this rom is that they have shared droid settings where you can get a lot of features and you can make your device as you like and you can tweak whatever you want so you can do that too if you go here there are a few things which I have to mention so going with the so we have game space uh, so if you are gaming you can turn on the game space and unlimited photo storage which does work perfectly fine netflix soup it's also working swipe to screenshot and other things sensor block per package and those things are also there uh, also you can unlock the higher fps in gaming so that's true but i don't think snapdragon 660 is that much capable of getting pushing fps so those things actually not really great and also coming with the application it does come with gfs uh, there are few are application with this rom and also it came with like it's in that applications are not actually like with gfs things so we have our contact and other things are different than gs GF, gfs applications so as you can see contact is different the logo is also different file manager is also there and also we have gaming space directly here as you can see and this application i have actually um restored from my old rom and those applications those applications working perfectly fine there is no issue there is there is a music player too as you can see the music player is here and also matlock i never use matlock for any kind of use not my cup of tea going with other things we have our camera application which is maybe gcam go which does work perfectly fine there is no issue and not much option or available there but that's everything is working perfectly fine if you go with like the cameras all the cameras are auxiliary cameras are working as you can see while ultra wide our depth sensor our micro camera and everything is working perfectly fine no issue with that and now going with the issues first of all as i said sometimes it doesn't work with fast charging so you have to reboot your device another thing is that this rom freezes a lot if you are in any kind of heavy application you will see the freezing but in gaming i haven't faced any kind of issue but in really like in facebook and other things whenever i am using this rom it was struggling sometimes and it freezes 
and sometimes the audio or video on my Facebook there even even if I close the video is still playing in background I don't know how it's doing that so those things are there but pretty much usable ROM or um, this ROM actually does come with safety net feature so that you can install application like bank apps and other things but as I have installed Magiscare so I um, cannot check that because it will be failed and other than that as I said Google Photos can upload unlimited photos or videos if you want you can do that too there is no issue other than that there is nothing much going on Bluetooth Wi-Fi everything is perfectly fine just there is few bugs here and there not major one just minor bugs but as I said better ROMs are available for Redmi Note 8 you can go with Evolution X or Driftfest those are much better option if you want the perfect one you can go with Evolution X if you really want the 13 beast ROM going with Evolution X will be much better than this shared Droid ROM and also I will put the link of this ROM in the description below you can download it from there I will put the latest version of it and flashing is pretty much straightforward like other ROMs no issue with that so that's all about Sea Droid ROM thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time Thank you.